In this video, Dr. Boyd is talking about the biophysical profile that assesses your baby's intrauterine health. He's going to be talking about the five things that your doctor is looking at in this test. Coming up. Hey, I'm Annabelle with Parently, and we help you give birth naturally. We bring you weekly videos to build your confidence in birth. If you're new here, then consider subscribing and ring that bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We've also put together our four-step process to a natural birth. Check it out in the description below. Let's get into this video. The biophysical profile is a tool that we use to assess intrauterine fetal well-being. Now, if you have a non-stress test and that non-stress test is a is labeled non-reactive or you have a category two non-stress test then at that point you may be offered from your healthcare provider a biophysical profile now this can be done in the office or this can be done in the hospital what is a biophysical profile a biophysical profile looks at five different parameters using non-stress testing as one and then the other four parameters are things that we identify in the sonogram. So you have to have a non-stress test as part of your biophysical profile. That needs to be either a reactive non-stress test or a non-reactive. Now the scoring of a biophysical profile is out of 10 and you're assigned based on these five parameters a score of 0 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 8 out of 10, or 10 out of 10. Now, obviously our goal for all babies is a 10 out of 10. Now, what do these five parameters indicate and how do we come about determining that score? As I mentioned, if you have a reactive non-stress test, you get two out of two for that parameter. Now, if you have a non-reactive non-stress test, then you have a zero out of two for that scoring test. Now, as we go to the, to the ultrasound or sonogram, there's four things that we look at in the ultrasound. These are not in any specific order, so when you look at different sites, they may list them differently. I'm just going to give them to you as I perform them. Number one is the amniotic fluid volume. Now that means how much fluid is around the baby, and we measure that fluid in at least two different pockets. So if you're having the ultrasound done on your abdomen, the sonographer, whether that's your healthcare provider or whether that's a sonogram tech, will measure the ultrasound on different parameters on your belly. Those two pockets, when they measure two different places, should equal at least two or greater to get a biophysical profile score of two. So if that score of two or greater, whether it's two pockets or one linear pocket, that means up and down, is at least two centimeters, remember two centimeters is about the size of one inch, then you get a score of two. The third item, the second item on the sonogram, but the third item in the biophysical profile looks at fetal movement. Now in the fetal movement, you should see at least three movements in 30 minutes. That means any type of movement, whether it's the head, the shoulders, the arms, or the legs three movements or greater, you get a score of two out of two for that particular entity. Now the next issue or the next number is number four on the biophysical profile. The third on the sonogram evaluation is fetal tone. Now what does fetal tone mean? When we assess the baby's movement and we take the arm and we, take the, we look at the baby's arm and it's flexing and extending, or the hand is opening and closing, we're seeing at least one of those movements in 30 minutes, then we give that baby a score of two out of two. If we don't see flexion and extension or the hand open, then we give that baby a zero out of two. The last item, number five on the biophysical profile, is fetal breathing movements. Now, what is fetal breathing movements? Just like you breathe, and you breathe air, the baby breathes in utero 
but they breathe water. They're living in water, but they breathe just like you and I do. It's inhale, exhale. So we should see one rhythmic 30 second evaluation of the baby breathing in and out, in and out over a 30 minute period of time. So we see fetal breathing movement or we don't see fetal breathing movement. If we see fetal breathing movement, we need to count for at least 30 seconds in and out, in and out for a minimum of 30 seconds. If that happens, then we give the baby a two out of two on the fetal breathing movements. Now again, it's important that the sonographer wait at least 30 minutes to identify whether your baby has breathing movements. That sometimes can be delayed and can be frustrating sometimes as sonographers waiting for the fetal breathing movements to occur. So the biophysical profile is a marker that helps us establish whether your baby needs further testing or whether your baby needs to be delivered. Thanks for watching Dr. Boyd's video today. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and check out our four-step process in the description below. We'll see you next time.